The Napolitan Mastiff or Mastino Napolitano is an Italian breed of large dog. It descends from the traditional guard dogs of central Italy. It was recognized as a breed by the Entnazionale della Sinofilia Italiana in 1949 and accepted by the Federation Sinologique Internazionale in 1956. The breed is closely related to the Cane Corso. The Napolitan Mastiff is a brittle and massive dog with a sad expression of a folded muzzle. Huge watchdogs, accompanying the army of Alexander the Great on campaigns, have more than 2,000 years of history of the formation of the breed. Not suitable for beginner breeders. Story. The breed has been known in the south of the Apennine Peninsula since ancient times. Mastino is a descendant of ancient fighting dogs who participated in battles and persecution of wild animals in the arenas of ancient Rome. Since ancient times, Mastino has been used as a guard dog. Such dogs were kept by ordinary people, butchers, watchmen, peasants, so breeding was chaotic. At the show in 1946, Pietro Scanziani presented eight dogs, which had a certain number of characteristic exterior features, desirable for breeding and establishing a single type. Through targeted selection, Scanziani obtained an exemplary male, from which the breed standard was written, adopted by the Italian Mastino Society in 1949. Breeding without checking working or physical qualities led to the fact that the judges at the shows, and therefore the breeders, began to give preference to dogs in excess condition, which led to a change in the appearance of the Mastino. As the exterior of the main Mastino herd changed, the breed standard changed periodically. Appearance The Napolitan Mastiff belongs to the group of Malashan Mastiff dogs. The body is of an extended format, massive, powerful, with a loaded neck with a double chin, deep and voluminous, very powerful chest, fairly prominent ribs, wide withers and back and slightly sloping, powerful, wide croup. The head is short, massive, with a pronounced transition from the forehead to a short muzzle with powerful jaws, a large nose and drooping, fleshy, thick lips. The skull is flat and wide. The eyes are dark and round. Ear is set high, drooping along the cheeks, flat, triangular, small, predominantly cropped to the shape of an equilateral triangle. The tail is thick at the base, slightly tapering and tapering towards the end. Hangs down to the hock, docked one-third of the length. The limbs are massive, muscular, with large, rounded paws with arched, tightly clenched toes. The coat is short, hard, dense, smooth and dense. The color is black, gray, lead gray with black, brown, red, fawn, sometimes with small white spots on the chest and legs. Brindle is possible. Character. The Napolitan Mastiff is a non-aggressive, balanced, obedient, alert, calm, fearless, loyal and noble dog. She is friendly and sociable in a homely atmosphere. Has an excellent memory. Good for all family members. Very rarely barks, distrustful of strangers. Likes to dominate other dogs. Education and training are required from a very early age. Mastino can be used as a watchman. Thanks to his physical data, he can easily drive away unwanted visitors from his possessions. However, he is very friendly and sociable in a homely atmosphere. Has an excellent memory. Very kind and caring for his master, he will behave in front of him like a small child. Not recommended for families with children under 12 years of age or other pets. The Napolitan Mastiff is very jealous, most often he shows his jealousy with aggression. Dignity. The main positive quality of the Napolitan Mastiff is its loyalty to its owner. Even in childhood, he chooses the only person whom he considers the owner and always listens to him alone. The dog readily obeys the owner's commands, plays with him, follows where he goes, and in every possible way shows his affection. The rest of the family, the dog, as a rule, also perceives favorably, but obeys only the chosen person. Mastino are great guards. They closely monitor strangers and guests, always come to the defense if they feel a threat to the owner, his family or property. A dog of this breed will courageously rush at the offender and will stand for the owner to the end. At the same time, both in times of danger and in a calm environment, dogs rarely bark. Mastinos are balanced animals, they will not get underfoot, require noisy games or show unmotivated aggression. The mastiff will be attached and devoted only to his master all his life. If the owner of the Napolitan for some reason left the animal, the dog will wait for its return, no matter how much care and attention it is given. Disadvantages Pets of this breed, due to their great love for the owner, often show their jealousy. Mastinos are unlikely to tolerate the neighborhood of a dog or other animals on their territory. They may also be unhappy with the owner's increased attention to small children. It is better to start socializing by introducing people and pets on dog grounds from a very early age. The Mastiff is going through hard separation from the owner, so you should not start it on a person who is constantly on business trips. 
Also, keeping a Neapolitan alone on a chain or in an aviary is not suitable. The death of the owner is especially difficult for the Mastino, the animal can get sick, and if it recovers, it probably does not recognize the new owner. Due to its eyes, the dog can unintentionally damage the environment in the house, dropping interior items, as well as light furniture structures. There are problems with carelessness while eating and profuse salivation. Dogs of this breed are quite lazy, they can lie for a long time, which leads to obesity. They are also stubborn and slow, which creates some problems in training. Care and Maintenance It should be borne in mind that the Mastiff is not an indoor breed. He can be kept in an apartment, but a house with a large plot is better suited, where he will have greater freedom of action for successful development. In addition, the pet cannot be chained. As already noted, the dog needs free space for harmonious development, and the Mastiff on the chain will become an angry and aggressive dog. It is recommended to feed your pet regularly and at the same time. In addition, the Mastiff must have free access to clean water. When buying food for a dog, you should exclude rice and chicken. They have a bad effect on digestion due to the rapid metabolism of this breed. The Neapolitan Mastiff has an excellent developed gastrointestinal tract, which makes it easy to provide an adult with everything necessary and to avoid many problems. Health Despite a fairly strong body and a fairly high resistance to many infections, these dogs have a tendency to develop cardiac pathologies, hip dysplasia, nervous disorders, and allergic reactions. Particularly dangerous is such a parasitic disease as cardiopulmonary filariasis, the symptoms of which are often delayed. A week before vaccination, a dog of any age is treated for helmets. Adult mastiffs are vaccinated once a year, babies, twice. Specialization it is widely used as a guard dog. An excellent companion for a physically active person. Needs a lot of space and serious physical activity. Regular brushing and care of skin folds are essential. Due to poor thermoregulation in this breed, heater sunstrokes are possible during active walks in the open sun in the summer. Therefore, on hot days, you should shorten the time you spend outside and keep in the shade with the dog. Training. In the young and adult period of life, the Mastiff behaves calmly and restrained. However, this does not mean that training should be postponed. The training of the Neapolitan Mastiffs begins at six months. Until this time, the dog should develop independently in the conditions of everyday games and situations. Mastiff should be taught to obey the owner implicitly. Then the owner will gain authority in the eyes of the dog. Otherwise, there is a risk of losing control over the animal, and this threatens with various troubles and even troubles. If the puppy does not begin to train in a timely manner, he will become an independent and uncontrollable animal, which even an adult strongman will not be able to cope with. No wonder this breed was chosen in ancient Rome as fighting dogs for bloody battles. The dog should never be hit. Mastiffs have excellent memories and can hold grudges for years. How to choose a puppy. A kid of this breed can be bought on the classifieds website, as well as by contacting a nursery or a private breeder. It should be taken into account that a pet bought from the hands will not have a guarantee of a breed type in adulthood, it is impossible to predict what will grow out of it. Also, such a dog will not be able to participate in exhibitions and breeding. If the future owner wants to get an animal of a pedigree exterior, assumes a show career for a pet, and also plans to obtain offspring from him, then it is better to contact trusted breeders. When meeting the baby and his parents, it is necessary to request the pedigrees for the couple, their veterinary passports, the results of the dysplasia test. It will not be superfluous to get acquainted with the data on the puppies of previous litters, their health, show achievements. The chosen baby must be active, decisive, but not aggressive, approach the breed standard in terms of external parameters. It is also necessary to examine the eyes and skin folds for inflammation and infections, request a metric and a veterinary passport for the pet. The full health of the puppy is evidenced by good fatness without signs of fatness, shiny smooth coat, absence of any discharge from the nose, eyes, ears, good appetite, lack of combed places on the skin, if the puppy has a lot of wrinkles and folds, this can provoke rashes, infection, wounds, friendly playful behavior, willingness to connect. By purchasing a purebred puppy, the owner will receive an obedient pet with a strong nervous system, readiness for training and training, with protective abilities. It is worth refraining from buying a passive animal, with shortness of breath, poor appetite, reduced body weight, with cherry eye syndrome. Eye pathology is usually hereditary and manifests itself in redness and inflammation of the dog's third eyelid. Infection on the mucous membrane of the eye can also cause illness. Price Average price for a Neapolitan Mastiff puppy is US$2,000.